So to balance, you want to put the two elements on. You don't really have to hook it up. Point two. I always put them so that the short one is outboard. So there's that. And I put the lock washer under the wing nut. Or the uh, over the over the uh, ring terminal. Beauty of this design is that once you've got it all connected, you can take the elements off just by undoing the wing nuts a little bit and sliding the terminals out. Okay, here's the other element. We want it facing outboard. Slide it between the two lock washers. Snug it down a little bit. Pull it all the way out to start and I'm going to have to do them this way because otherwise the balance will be off. Straight up and down. Turn those. You'll want to tighten them up when you're done, but I'm not just yet, so in case I bump something, they'll give without bending. And now you can see that we're way off balance to that end. So I'm going to cut about this much off the pipe, leave about three feet. I'm going to take that off just to make it easier. Slide it back in. Of course you'd put a you glue this and put a cap on this end when you're done. And also put a piece of three quarter or something into this end to mount it to your mast. Uh, depending on what you've got for a mast piece of three quarter and then whatever you need to get it to stay on your mast. If you're just going to clamp it to the mast, three quarters fine. Um, I haven't glued the other one, uh, the original. Pl not planning to because it feels pretty snug. So there's the antenna. It's done. It's ready to test. I'll be having uh, WA6RHK come over. Um, today's Valentine's Day so it won't be today. We'll run the SWRs, and at that point, I'll finish off the counterbalance, and then we'll have another finished antenna. I'll let you know how this comes out with the testing, and uh, then build your own.